Dear students, uh, today we are going to discuss about the subjects in the second semester of B.Sc. Nursing. You have a uh, total uh, four subjects in second semester of B.Sc. Nursing program. First subject is Applied Biochemistry. Second one is Applied Nutrition and Dietetics. Third one is Nursing Foundations 2. And the fourth subject is Health or Nursing Informatics and Technology. And there is a mandatory module which you have to complete in the second semester that is health assessment as part of nursing foundation 2 course. Oh, in the second semester we will see uh, the subjects in detail. The first subject is applied biochemistry. You have uh, two credits for the theory that is it. Uh, the total theory hour is 40 hours. It includes lab hours also. Uh, the, this course is designed to assist the students to acquire knowledge of the normal biochemical composition and functioning of the human body, its alterations in disease conditions and, up, and to apply this knowledge in the practice of nursing. So there are um, various uh, chapters. You have the first chapter uh, about the uh, metabolism of carbohydrates and its alterations. Uh, uh, eight hours uh, theory and the second unit is on lipids. Uh, that is about the metabolism of lipids and its alterations. And the third unit is uh, uh, the metabolism of amino acids and uh, proteins. And fourth unit is uh, the enzymology of various conditions. Fifth unit is acid-base balance. And the sixth unit is on heme catabolism. And the seventh unit is for organ function tests which are, which are done. Various uh, organ functions test like liver function test, uh, renal function test, thyroid function test, etc. And the eighth unit is on uh, the immunochemistry, the structure and functions of immunoglobulin and all. So you have uh, various um, textbooks which are recommended. First one is Vasudevan, Satnarayana, Mure, Puri D, Ramakrishnan, uh, Harbhajan Lal, etc. That's, that's all about the biochemistry subject. You have 40 hours theory. And the next one is applied nutrition and dietetics which constitute about uh, 45 hours theory and 15 hours uh, lab hours. Total 3 credits because 60 hours is there so 3 credits. This uh, course is designed to assist the students to acquire basic knowledge and understanding of the principles of nutrition and dietetics. So you have several units uh, like uh, theory first uh, about the introduction to Nutrition, second unit is on uh, the three hours on carbohydrates, third unit is on proteins, three hours and fourth unit is on fats, two hours and the fifth unit is on vitamins, uh, three hours, so sixth unit is on minerals, three hours, seventh unit is on balanced diet, you have uh, seven hours theory and eight hours lab. Then you have nutritional deficiency disorders, that is a unit 8, 6 hours theory and the therapeutic diets, that is uh, chapter 9 on therapeutic diets, 4 hours theory and 7 hours lab and the final 10th chapter is on cookery rules and preservation of nutrients, that is on 3 hours. Then 11th chapter is on nutritional assessment and nutritional education, that is on uh, 4 uh, hours. Uh, na the nat National Nutritional Program and Role of Nurses, it's a 3 hours theory class. Then the chapter 13 is on food safety, 2 hours theory class. So that's all about the nutrition and dietetics and you have several books like Swamita, Anjana Agarwal, Srimati, Gupta LC, Rahina Begum, etc. And the third subject is on Nursing Foundation 2 that includes Health Assessment Module also. That is a mandatory module to be completed. There is 120 hours of theory that is 6 credits and clinical you have 320 hours. See here the course is designed to help novice nursing students develop knowledge and competencies required to provide evidence based comprehensive basic nursing care for adult patients. So you have several uh, units like first unit on theory and um, skill lab uh, 20 hours 20 hours theory health assessment that is the first unit and second unit to nursing process 13 hours uh, theory and 8 hours skill lab then the third unit is on nutritional needs then the fourth unit is about the hygiene and the fifth unit is about the elimination needs 10 hours theory and 10 hours uh, skill lab then you have diagnostic testing uh, 50 unit 
சிக்ஸ்த் யூனிட் இஸ் ஆன் டயக்னோஸ்டிக் டெஸ்டிங் அண்ட் த செவன்த் யூனிட் இஸ் ஆன் ஆக்சிஜனேஷன் நீட்ஸ் லெவன் ஹவர்ஸ் தியரி அண்ட் டென் ஹவர்ஸ் ஸ்கில் ஆப் ஃபார் ஆக்சிஜனேஷன் அண்ட் எயித் யூனிட் இஸ் ஆன் ஃப்ளூட் இலெக்ட்ரோலைட் ஆசிட் அண்ட் பேஸ் பேலன்ஸ் அட் இஸ் ஃபைவ் ஹவர்ஸ் தியரி அண்ட் டென் ஹவர்ஸ் ஸ்கில் ஆப் then the ninth unit is on administration of medications that is 20 hours theory here we you learn about how to administer medicines how to give injections etc and then uh, you have skill lab also then the uh, 10th unit is, is on sensory needs that's about 5 hours theory and the 6 hours skill lab and you have the 11th uh, uh, unit which explains about the care of terminally ill death and dying stages of dying how to take care of dead bodies and all then uh, you have a uh, 12th unit about the psychosocial needs that is about 3 hours about self concept uh, then uh, 12th unit about sexuality 2 hours then uh, you have a uh, uh, 14th unit on stress and adaptation then 15th unit on concepts of cultural diversity and spirituality then 16th unit is about nursing theories introduction then there is a mandatory module on health assessment which everyone has to complete so references textbooks cosia potter and perry taylor and amma jacob glanick there are many other books which you can refer then the practical uh, includes uh, 320 hours it means four credit hours so here in the practicals you are supposed to perform health assessment of each body system develop skills in assessment planning implementation and evaluation of nursing care using nursing process approach identify and meet the nutritional needs of patients implement basic nursing techniques in meeting hygienic needs of patients plan and implement care to meet the elimination needs develop skills in instructing and collecting samples for um, diagnostic a uh, test identify patients with impaired oxygenation identify and demonstrate skill in caring for patients etc so skill lab you will be using various uh, manicures and uh, simulators will be used for learning purpose like health assessment nutritional assessment sponge bath oral hygiene and various care nas- nasogastric tube feeding providing bed pan and urinal catheter care bowel wash oxygen administration administration of medicines various through various routes parenteral route im subcutaneous intradermal and intravenous method the last of is death care everything you will be uh, taught in the second semester and there are 16 weeks of posting 20 hours per week in general medical surgical wards in the second semester of your postings uh, there the postings you have various clinical requirements to be completed you are supposed to perform health assessment of each body system uh, history taking to physical examination to and nursing process uh, you have to uh, take assignments for that nutritional assessment and clinical presentation pressure sore assessment clinical presentation then lab values and their interpretations like that there will be various objectives uh, you have to do demonstrations of various procedures in the ward uh you have to do nursing rounds on care of patients with altered sensorium that's about the uh, nursing foundations too then you have another subject called health uh, nursing informatics and technology that is two credits 40 hours so practical lab uh, credit 40 hours here you will the, you have to uh, understand about uh, the um, basic understand in understanding of computer application patient care and nursing practice here in the first unit you have introduction to computer applications for patient care delivery system and nursing uh, practice then principles of health informatics that you have to learn information systems in healthcare uh, concepts of information systems in healthcare then share care and electronic health records then the 50 unit is on patient safety and clinical risk then the 60 unit is on clinical knowledge in decision making then e health patient and the internet using information healthcare management that is this eighth unit information law governance in clinical practice ethical and legal issues pertaining to healthcare the healthcare quality and evidence based practice that is a 10th unit so various skills you have to uh, develop like utilize computer in improving various aspects of nursing and practice 
use technology in patient care and professional advancement use data in professional development and efficient patient care use information system in quality patient care so all these things these are the reference books which which are given for studying so that's a, about the second semester subjects let us see about the examination pattern also what all for semester 2 you have examinations uh, for applied biochemistry and um, uh, and uh, applied dietetics and uh, dietetics and nutrition and that's for internal will be 25 marks and external marks will be uh, 75 total marks will be out of 100 and for nursing foundation 2 you will have uh, external examination internal marks 50 and university examination uh 50 and for nursing health uh, nursing uh, informatics and technology also you will have an examination that is 50 uh, 20 for nursing informatics there will not be any university examination you will have only uh, internal um, examination okay so that's about the uh, examination uh, system uh Uh, applied uh, biochemistry and um, uh, nutrition and dietetics will be one paper so that's all about the second semester subjects and the